Hey guys, it's Mary and I just wanted to come on here before we get into the video of my project pan. Um, this will be the update number three, which I think I already said that in the video. I'm not quite sure, but I just wanted to tell you that this is actually going to be the finale for this project and I know I've only been doing it for three or four months now, but I'm ready to move on and start a different one. Um, I've kind of changed my mind about things, which I will tell you in my next video. But thank you so much, so much for watching, and I'm sorry I'm posting this kind of late. I did film it on the right day, though. I just haven't gotten it up yet. Anyway, thank you guys. Have a great day, and enjoy the video. Hello, everyone. It is Mary here, and I'm coming at you today with the video of... Mmm. Hello everyone, it is Mary here, and today's video is my Project Pan update number three. Mm -hmm. I've been at this for three months now. Let's try this again. Hello everyone, it is Mary here, and today today's video is going to be my Project Pan update number three. And a surprise video, a pan that palette, which So the palette that I've actually started panning, I'll just go ahead and start with you. This one is um, this palette right here, plus this shade right here. So this is my Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. Um, and if you know, I already started panning. It was This shade was already in my project pan, which I had actually finished up, which is extremely exciting. And this, so this is the Urban Decay Naked 3. And then this is the, um, just a random purple shade. It's from the, I had it in my previous project pan before I like switched everything out to kind of, because I got bored. Of, I got bored of wearing purple every day. Let's just be honest here. But yeah, I've been wearing this shade. Actually, this shade is from the LA Colors 3 Trio in Seductive. I finished the um, pink, kind of like pinky color. I use that as my highlight every day. And oh, sorry, I don't know what I'm doing weird with my nose. And so, yeah, and then this shade was left. I ended up having to repress it, and then I hit pan on it, ended up having to repress it to put it into the C palette. Um, when I first got the Z palette, and then I hit pan on it again. And then I was um, kind of playing around with my makeup, seeing what I wanted to do for Halloween. And I kind of did like this and up of my face with purple. And I actually used a Maybelline lipstick. This is in the shade Vibrant. I used this lipstick. I had like in the contours from like a here with like black. And then up, I put the purple lipstick. And then to set it, I used this purple eyeshadow. And it was pretty cool. I'm not going to do that for Halloween. I'm probably just going to dress up as a man or something. But anyway, yeah. That's how I use so much of that one. I've also been using this color just about every time I wear my makeup. Not anymore, though. I've kind of put a halt on using it. I mix this one and this one together. I'm sorry, I don't know what these names are. I already threw out, threw out the palette. Actually, no, it's right here. I think this one's Dark Horse. Let me see. Yeah, that one's Dark Horse and then Factory. I would mix those two together and um, put it in my crease area to kind of blend out the dark brown shade that's actually in my crease today. So I'll explain that in a second. But since I finished up this shadow right here, since this is kind of like a roulette, I'm actually going to be taking this cream shade from this LA Colors, oh, I can get it open, this LA Colors quad right here, and I enjoyed this one so much more because it's actually a true cream and not kind of like a pinky color. There's also no shimmer in it, which makes me real happy. So I'll just be taking a fluffy brush like this. In fact, I'll put some more on. And just, oh, so nice. I love a good cream base. Anyway, I will be depotting that and putting it into this palette. 
So that one is done. Now, I guess while I have this open, I will be showing you this powder. And as you can see, I repressed it and I feel like it's on its last leg. I feel like next update, it will be done, but I cannot promise anything because I just, well, I just really want it to be done. You know, it's, it's a nice powder, but pretty soon it's starting to get too dark for me. Let's see if you can see that. Not really, but oh well. Anyway, it's starting to get too dark for me, and so I just, yeah. It's a struggle. Anyway, that's everything from this palette that's in my project pan. See, I talked about that. Oh, there's one. I probably should have mentioned this first. I finished up a product. I'm so excited about this. This is the Clinique Line Smoothie Concealer. I worked on this for like two months straight. This was not full. It was about halfway full. Let's see if I can. Yeah. Yeah, about halfway full. Two months of progress. I even... I took out the stopper, um, scraped everything. I probably could get a couple more uses out of this, but I'm done. This is a gift. One of my friends gave it to me, and I love it, but since it is Clinique, and Clinique is not cruelty-free, I will not be repurchasing, repurchasing this, although it was an amazing concealer. I had the shade Light, which is the second shade. Um, it was a great color match for me. So, yeah, the next product is this Maybelline concealer. I have actually already scraped out this concealer and depotted it into my old, um, what is this? This was an eyeliner tub, just because I find it easier to track the progress when, when it's in these. And I'm actually going to try and insert pictures of last month's progress I haven't been taking pictures but I'm gonna start I'm gonna go back onto my old project but anyway it all fit into this little tub thing so yeah that's been working on oh my goodness the thing I'm have made the most progress on let me just go ahead and share this is this Rimmel London eye coal I think is what they're called let me look I just I think that the eye cold I have look how short this is first of all I've been using this kind of like as my cream brow bone highlight and then I set it with the cream shade and my um maybe the color tattoo kind of like all over the lid but let me just I'm not gonna try to hold it up and balance it but look that was this is the intro first update second update and third update look at I've really been like going down on this and it makes me so happy. Excuse me. Um, and then I guess let's go ahead and talk about the Maybelline Touch of Spice. I've actually lost this lipstick for the moment. I know it's somewhere in my room. I just need to clean up my room. If you don't know, if you can't tell by my bed behind me, it is a mess. Um, so, but yeah. So since I used it for probably about the first two weeks, took it to PK Retreat. If you haven't seen that vlog, I know it's really long, but you need to go watch it because it's freaking amazing. But yeah, but there's not much project progress on that. Okay, um, let's talk about these eyeshadows. Let's talk about this one first. This is the Color Rouge eyeshadow in the number 204 from L'Oreal. Look at that dip. I have been using this eyeshadow religiously. Trying to hit at least hit pan on it before I kind of backed off it a little bit. But I'm just getting tired of using it every day. Now, for a look like this, I like it. And this is what I'm wearing in my crease. And I like it. But I am getting so tired of it. And I have made a huge dip in it. I am very proud of myself for the progress I made in this month, but I'm going to back off and I'm going to try some new looks with my Pan That palette. And so, yeah, there is that. I was trying to hit Pan on it, but oh, and I took a toothpick. Actually, no, I took these scissors. Look at this. I'll just show you. 
Okay, so you see this? I'm going to damage this. It goes down in there so far. Ah, let me stick it back in there. Look, that is how much you can't tell. Anyway, there's freaking a lot left in order for me to hit pan. So much, and it frustrates me to no end. Now, this eyeshadow, which is the Color Rouge eyeshadow in the shade 207. As you can see, I've been really going down on this part. And I was using this as my highlighter, but in the last couple of days, I have realized this color does not look good on me as a highlighter. Now, maybe like on the tip of my nose, just like a little bit, it's okay, but it is too taupey for my skin tone. skin tone. Now, if you were darker and you liked that like really like boom, bright highlighter and you had more like just like darker skin tone than me. Maybe this would work for you if you're trying to pan this eyeshadow. Um, but for me personally, it's not, which is why I have actually started using this on my lid again. Because if you can't tell, this eyeshadow palette right here doesn't really have any great lid colors except for these two. Oh, I forgot to say, look at that shiny pan. I hit that a couple days ago. I've been mixing these two together for my highlighter ever since I started painting this palette, which is probably about three weeks ago. So, yeah. Alrighty. Ooh, I dropped something. Oops. Okay. Talked about that. Color tattoo. I have, I am so excited about this because I actually can see some moving progress. I have cleared out some of these sides. Oop, touch my finger. But like, on the inside, it's still going to be slow. This product is just, I've watched too many Project Pans where they've been panning this item for like two years straight. And they're like, I'm so tired of it, I just want to like throw it away. But I thought that oh yeah it's just gonna take me like a couple months and then this will be done but no it's it's gonna take a while and I have four more <laughs> why did I buy them okay oh these and then my other three lip products this Maybelline color jolt this was a full tube when I put it in here I have I, I've been using this a lot. This is a, um, what it looks like. Let me show you the color. But you do not need a lot of this. And as much as you need will be on this little sponge applicator thing. It's a beautiful color. Like, look at that color. But I, I have been using this, like, in the morning when I do my makeup. I wear this to work. Like... And then I pair it with this. Now with this, I can tell that there's progress because when I switch the wand around, I can see the sides of the wand. But there's no other than that. This is the um, L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Gloss. This one's in the shade 300. But you see, you see, you can see the wand right there. So there is been progress on this I mean I can't tell anything yet and but this one this one's in the shade 316 this is another pro matte gloss let's see if I can find it oh. this one has a lot more progress on it see if I scrape at the sides like right there you can see the sides of it so I know that this one is, in fact, I might go ahead and take the stopper out of this one. I keep this one in my backpack, and this is the color that I reapply, just because I guess it's the easiest one for me to, I don't really know. But, anyway, that is everything. Oh, no, it's not. I have to put in a shade to, ah... I was not prepared for this. I have to pick a shade to earth item. 
to switch out for the concealer. See, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Never mind, I have ten products. I kind of, if you don't know, I'm trying to keep ten products in rotation at all times. Um, so, yeah. I think definitely by next update, I will either have finished this eyeliner or am close to finishing this eyeliner and, um... this powder either finished it or very close I've been really trying to go like go hard on it I'm actually gonna take this pan out of y'all no I'm not but yeah and I will be taking this pan right here out and I will be replacing it with this bad boy this cream shade right here so yeah anyway thank you all for watching it means a lot to me Please like, subscribe, comment, and or comment down below any videos that you want me to do. I'm so sorry that I have been absent recently too. I've been trying to keep putting out videos even though I've been really busy. But yeah. Thank you all for watching and I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye guys.